Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey with the Forex. Quick look and take a look at the dollar versus Swiss as if after the strong and expected U.S. retail sales. So let's get started. Um, focus on the hourly chart and in, in, uh, trading. Yesterday, we did uh, see the price uh, uh, move below the 50% retracement level for the third consecutive day. That's of the last move up from our low price that we saw back here in June to the high price that we saw in July. That 50% came in at 0 0.8938. And as you can see, the price uh, fell below it on uh, Thursday's trade, fell below it on Friday br more briefly. In trading yesterday, the price uh, fell below on a number of different hourly bars, but could not sustain the momentum to the downside. We rotated back to the upside, coming up to the low of this cluster of moving averages. This cluster of moving averages includes the uh, 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart. That's this green line right through here. The 100 hour moving average, the 200 hour moving average, and up here, the 100 uh, bar moving average on the four hour chart. So all these moving averages are levels that we need to get to and through to increase the bullish bias. And as you can see off the retail sales data today, after up and down price action in the uh, Asian and European session, saw the price uh, finally uh, uh, break to the upside, taking out the uh, uh, 100 uh, hour, hour moving average, 200 bar moving average, but finding resistance sellers against the 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart. So uh, three of four uh, have been broken. The price has uh, since rotated back down. We're currently trading back below the 200 bar moving average. So what does that say? That says that, uh, well, the uh, cluster of moving averages is so far holding resistance on the top side. It will take a move above the 0 0.89778 to increase the bullish price. After traders looking up toward this high, maybe in this uh, swing area, uh, and also the 100-day moving average, if broken, a 100-day moving average up here at 0 0.8998. Let's call it 9.0. And in trading last week, we came up toward that 100. Uh, we broke above the 100-day moving average, as a matter of fact, but uh, could not uh, uh, have any sustained uh, uh, break above the 90 level, that key natural level on the top side. So that's uh, that area is going to be a key level on the top side. Alternatively, if we start to break back below the 100 hour moving average, the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart, it would open the door for another uh, test of the 50% retracement. And we'll see if the fourth or fifth, fourth day in a row is a charm uh, and uh, a break up below that level uh, would open the door for further downside momentum. So there you have it. A look at the dollar versus us uh, from a technical perspective of for today's date, July 16, 2024. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.